Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah Sutton. And I promise my quality doesn't always look like this, but we'll get into that in a second. I'm an indie author of four young adult romance books, all linked down below so you guys can go check them out. They're available on all major platforms. Welcome back to my channel. So going back to that quality thing, <laughs> I'm filming on my laptop's webcam instead of on my camera this time because I don't know where my camera is. I think it's in the kitchen and I just... I don't feel like going to get it, so we're just going to film on the laptop really quick. Um, quick intro to the video. You are going to be watching the audiobook sample of Out of My League. I'm finally posting it. I've gotten a lot of questions. People just wanting to listen to the audiobook sample of this book as well, so I am posting it. Um, I've also had a question about the Waterfronts 4 audiobook sample, the retail sample, and if I can get that, I will definitely put that up here next. Um, I am finally, finally, finally moving into an audiobook publication for If the Room Fits, so if you're waiting on that one, it's coming very, very soon, fingers crossed. Uh, I listened to the audiobook sample today, and it was so good. I love my narrator to pieces. But yeah, today you're going to be listening to the Out of My League audiobook sample, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll keep this intro short, and let's dive in to the audiobook, and let's see how it sounds. I hope you guys enjoy it. The school has decided to cut funding for some extracurricular activities, and they've decided to cancel the newspaper, effective next school year. Mrs. Gao's words almost went in one ear and out the other, my focus so totally elsewhere. And then it registered like a slap to the face. Wait, wait, what? Mrs. Gao let out a weary breath, setting the eraser down on the whiteboard sill. Her shoulders slouched forward as she reached a hand to brush her black hair. Sales are down 20%, and if no one's reading the paper... A school paper is a necessity, I objected, voice sounding loud and desperate to my own ears. How else are students going to know about events, games, board meetings? How else are they going to get their information? A boy behind me piped up. Uh, social media? I fought the urge to turn around and glare. Apparently, Sophia, the money for new baseball field bleachers is more of a necessity than information. Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely not. My newspaper funding went to baseball? Waves of blood pounded in my ears, sending a shockwave of dizziness through my senses. I gripped onto my desk to keep myself upright. This could not be happening. They can't just cut an extracurricular to put more funding into a non-essential sports team. Could they? They can if the class size is five students. Non-essential, Sophia? Tess, the main sports reporter, turned toward me. If looks could kill, hers would have struck me down. The newspaper isn't as important as the baseball team. Uh, I so disagreed. Any retort I might have pitched back died on my lips, as a different kind of panic seized me, another fact crossing my mind. Does this mean the seniors aren't qualified for the Blade internship? Mrs. Gao's expression confirmed my worst fear before her words did, twisting into a sorrowful mask. It's required that applicants attend a school with an active journalism program. I'm sorry, Sophia, but yes, that means you— and the two other soon-to-be seniors in our class will not be allowed to apply. I was going to pass out. Right there, with two minutes left in the last day of school. I was going to pass out, knock my head against the desk, fall into a coma, and have to be airlifted to the hospital. And there wouldn't be a school newspaper to report on it. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the audiobook sample of Out of My League. I love the audiobook fully. I love the sound of Sophia's voice in this. I love how fun and upbeat she sounds. And hearing her interact with Walsh is just so, so much fun. Um, you can get this audiobook on Audible, Amazon, and on iTunes. So definitely go check that out if you want to. And yeah, so keep an eye out for when If the Rim Fits is available. And remember, Waterfronts 4 and Can't Catch My Breath are also available in audiobooks. Thank you guys for watching or listening. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of four young adult romance books. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I should start saying four, almost five young adult romance books.
because the fifth one comes out May 25th. Don't forget to go add it to your Goodreads TBR. Two Kinds of Us is the title. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the cover reveal. Guys, I'm getting my first printed proof on Thursday. What a great early birthday present. Oh, it's just going to be... It's going to be so exciting. I cannot wait to film it. Although it's going to be a while till you guys can see it. But I'm excited. Uh, okay. Goodbye. <laughs>